here's a set of guidelines that I use for setting up stuff. Use space. I'm going to tell you that space is intelligent. The spaces around the physical body all have meanings. Constellations would not work. Group constellations would not work unless it meant something that two people were back to back or would not look to one another. In front of you is the future and that which you're moving towards and that which you're paying attention to. Behind you is that which is chasing you or that which is supporting you or that which is behind you in time. Use ritual. Everything, um, everything can be looked at as a person. I get this from my native teachers. Everything can be looked at as a person, fruitfully looked at as a person. My car, whatever, address it with respect and it will not speak to you in language, but it will interact with you in a way that provides information that is very, very useful. Very, very useful. It took me a long time to kind of get that. A lot of people in the home altar class, they set up constellations and there's no tension. You need to capture the conflict. Stay small. Don't, don't put more players out there than, you know, eight or nine is a lot. I've seen, I've seen big time constellators with 13, 14 people on the floor and it starts to get lost. There's too many, you know, you can't pay attention socially, pay attention to a system that big. In a group constellation, you've got to keep the people around the circle involved because they're the container. Uh, and if you go and spend half an hour doing something as I've seen, I've seen it done, you know, the facilitator is spending half an hour pushing on one representative to accept this or do that. And meanwhile, the whole rest of the constellation is ignored and the group is ignored. And the energy container goes vroom, right down. Um, don't get too much out there. Parts are people. Essentially what you're doing is you're, you know, when you're doing a, a, a home altar constellation, which is just basically like Santre, right? Um, you're, you're playing Barbies. You're doing what a child does. You're, you're feeling into and being the part. Uh, when you're doing a private constellation, essentially you and the client are taking turns, you know, being this or that part of the constellation. Respect the feelings, support the emerging emotions. And this is a big one. When I first, first, years worth of workshops that I did, I would get to this point where I would see this immense panorama of trauma out on the floor. Um, I'm a real mess. I would freeze up. I didn't know what the hell to do. I had no idea what to do with it. I'm like, well, I can't do it. I don't know what to do. And eventually something that Mark Willen taught us in my early training, just have them speak the secrets. You know that this one can't look at that one because she's too mad at this one or I couldn't mother this one because something. So you just kind of, in a gentle way, say, could you try saying this? Just, could you, what would happen if you said that? Um, and, and you basically try to get the, all you have to do is try to get the hidden conflicts out in the open. And even if the constellation goes no further than that, you've already done a good thing and typically that family system or organizational system will start to evolve on the inner soul level anyway already because there's been some truth spoken. Those things which were felt but could not be said. Remember I said that trauma disconnects the, the subconscious social empathy stuff from the rational stuff. Those things which are felt but cannot be spoken. Speak them. It's marvelous. It's marvelous. Often the system will start to move all on its own. And then this last one is midwife resolutions. Please do not do what I've seen an awful A lot of people, the orders of love is a bad translation. Um, it should not be orders. They are not orders. Love does not order people around. There are too many people who take this facile idea that they're going to put the system in order. I've seen a couple of big time European facilitators come over here for workshops and I've been in their workshops and they put the system in order. 
And it doesn't matter what the representative thinks he or she is channeling or feeling from the ancestor. Um, I'm sorry, you lose resonance. If you lose resonance with the deeper reality, you're just moving bodies around. It is highly possible to peel a, rep, a person, a representing, a, re, a person representing in a group constellation, to peel that person away from representing the ancestor. If you put enough social pressure on that person, they give in. Yeah, okay, I'll do this, but I don't think the ancestor is doing it with them anymore. That that you'll hear in one of my little things. It's just nudge, don't fudge. Nudge. It's okay to nudge, don't fudge. Um, this is, uh, you know, we're getting now into sort of the last classes. Th this is a distillation of shamanism, uh, constellations, internal family systems therapy. These are, you can personify anything. I said that already. Space is a big deal. Spread it out in space. I'll talk to you about a guy named Lucas Dirks, who's got a whole book called Social Panoramas, which is a whole version of therapy, which is based on the way that you imagine parents, uh, friends, goals, obstacles, where you put them in space, how big they are, how, you know, what, can you move it over here and will it stay there? He's pulled a lot of NLP stuff together uh, with this notion of, of the social space around us. Um, he's got a whole huge, rather interesting form of therapy there, which is really very related to constellations. The, the other one is, you know, two more, cultivate childlike openness. You really have to, you have to kind of get out of your head here and, and play. My first experiences of psychic phenomenon in myself were that I had these weird little fantasies or weird little flashes, which I would not normally pay any attention to. And I was forced to pay attention to them in, in these various exercises. And a lot of them turned out to be either absolutely correct, or if I followed them, if I didn't just dismiss them, they led to stuff that was correct. And by correct, I mean it's useful, helps, it works. Last one, expect family and human groups. Inner and outer systems that have anything to do with people, families are in there. 